hey or whatever yes i had to do the bbl wave drinking my train to water with no eyes using my beauty of Josin sunscreen i don't know why that was so funny to me i guess it's because i literally haven't recorded a video in forever but this is gonna be a realistic get ready with me with a sort of asmr voice because my fiance is asleep in the other room my cat's also asleep and just a hot mess haven't been able to do this voiceover in this video i recorded literally a month ago but yeah i just slapped that shit all over my face also i may or may not title it realistic and get ready with me as like a cake decorator because bitch i'm always in pain like all the time i have to use like four different topicals and like two medicines and etc etc i have freaking rotor cuff tendinitis so after i let that sit in and i look normal and i'm watching a video and of course have to have the towel on my head because even though i have literally no hair i still need it and as you can see i have a ginormous danger flake that i don't see and then when I do see it, I pick at it and look at the screen for like 17 minutes. Um, using my LA Girl Primer Spray. Yep, there she goes. Picking the dandruff. Is she going to get it? I think she got it. No, she didn't. She's almost going to get it. Almost there. Come on, Pookie. You can do it. Nope. So don't, I still haven't gotten it. I think. There we go. We got it. Yeah, the LA Girl Primer Spray. As you can see, none of it is going on my face, which is why I spray so much of it. And if you're paying attention, I haven't blended the sunscreen on my neck. On my double chin. It's still there. And then I like to use sweet almond oil, but it's like specifically a like, I don't know if it's a Mexican brand or like something, but the writing is all in Spanish. I have a picture of it I'll put up, but probably not going to put it up because I'm lazy, but I will list it down below because I think that's fun. And then I also put some on my hands because Jesus Christ, I have old lady hands now and having old lady hands, there's nothing wrong with that, but my hands burn, dude, because I have nothing on them. And now I'm looking for a specific eyeliner, I believe, because the only eyeliner I've been using for the past like two months, Sandy Taboo Tattoo Liner. Literally the best eyeliner, especially if you do wings. But yeah, I got my Target mirror there. I think I also have, it's the CoverGirl Eyebrow Gel. It's okay if you don't have very um thick hairs, but it does the job. As I've gotten older, I've realized that just literally my eyebrow hairs, like, I don't even have eyebrows anymore. I used to have really nice, thick, beautiful eyebrows, and now they're gone. She's bald. Literally. Figuratively, mentally, spiritually, physically. I guess. Whatever. I don't know. What is she doing? We don't know. I think she's just having fun. Um, don't remember which one I'm using, but currently I am using the Maybelline Super Stay Hybrid Powder Foundation Setting Powder. It's like 16 hour wear. It used to be 12 hour. Um, that shit, if you can find your proper color and don't go like too light or too dark, literally looks like your skin just like slightly matter, especially if you have a good foundation. Also this fluffy brush, I think I got it for Christmas or for a gift or whatever, but perfect for setting powder. And if I did concealer more often, I would, but yeah. I love the juxtaposition between my matte like eye and under eye and then my just dewy glowy face. Some would say greasy, but I'm gonna say glowy and dewy because that's the that's the um that's the mood that I'm going for. Let's say that. And then I use NYX um brow something. Don't remember which one it is. It's not the one that I like, but it works. I think it's the job done. I think that's just what it is. Whenever you get older, you're just like, whatever works for me. I don't care. I kind of care, but I don't. But I'm more like skincare focused now. I don't really care about makeup anymore. I'm not saying I don't care because obviously I still have like a million fucking palettes. But it's not really what I'm thinking about, you know. I don't really care about anti-aging either. I just want to look okay for my age. I don't want to say good because I'm only 26. I don't need to look like a toddler or like a 14 year old. Some 14 year olds are also looking a little haggard. But I think it's because they're vaping too much. Vaping, all the energy drinks, <laughs> coffee, etc, etc. But like at 14, I just look like a big child like i didn't look like a teenager yet you know or what are they called teenagers what if do people even still use that term i think it's just kids now anyways i tried to make my eyebrows um sisters not twins always going for twins but they're always sisters and that's fine that's okay we like them oh i guess this is a get ready with me i thought it was a get ready with me i'm a damn ass liar or maybe i was getting ready to go somewhere i don't know don't talk to me i don't know anything am i using what is she going to do next? Girl, you only have four steps in your makeup routine. Why is this so long? <laughs> what is she doing? What is she doing? Oh, I guess she's watching a YouTube. Oh, yeah. I was watching um, Kyrie, Ky Carol Kyrie, Kyrie Reynolds, Carrie Reynolds 
I'll put her channel below, but she's great. I love her. She's so funny and so hashtag relatable. Love her. Love that for me. But yeah, I believe I'm using the Sandy Taboo Tattoo Eyeliner. I'll link it. It's literally so affordable. The best, juiciest, black, matte liner you'll ever have in your entire life. Literally. And I say this with full emphasis and full um, appreciation. Best eyeliner I've ever used. And I literally have like... 10 other different pen liners in my repertoire of liners but this one is the best and then i think i just literally spend like 20 minutes doing my liner well the video is only 10 minutes if you didn't know the video is only 10 minutes um but yeah she's trying to get her wings nice and sharp and then whenever i like can't get them sharp with the tattoo liner i like to use my trusted my die my ride or die uh, my cat's getting on the ps5 and she's 18 pounds so if it breaks the ps5 it's not my fault it's my cat's fault um <laughs> anyway um i like to use my trusted wet and wild mega liner or like mega last liner whatever but yeah look at those wings aren't those nice exactly the, the fucking proof is in the pudding dude the pudding being the eyeliner so good um what is she gonna do next i think she's going in with setting powder probably maybe whatever setting powder stupid idiot setting spray and then i guess one of my wings is fucked up so pro tip especially if you're a newbie getting into eyeliner or using felt tip liners pen liners or what the fuck ever if your wings are uneven bitch go in with a corner of a makeup um cotton uh, no cotton round cotton square or a q-tip and just sharpen it up boom simple you just have to maybe put some powder on afterwards but if it works it works and guess what it does i've been doing it for years see exactly there she is putting the powder back on because she wants her her skin tones to match on her face because she has several um i don't know what i'm looking at is it setting spray time question mark we only have two minutes left girl what the fuck are you doing i think i'm just like fine-tuning the liner you don't even want to fine-tune liner it's not an instrument but that's what i'm doing i just like a so I used to do ginormous wings. Sometimes, depending on the hour of the day, the, the evening, the occasion, I'll do a big ass wing. But I like just a wing that suits the eye. I feel like it complements the eye shape very well. Also, I feel like everybody can do a wing liner, no matter like what. Maybe you have to alter it depending on like your eye folds, etc, etc. But it looks good. I feel like it fits everybody. If you didn't hear my cat, she said, meow. Yeah, I know. But do you have anything important to say? No? Okay exactly shut the hell up um yeah i think i'm still fixing my eyeliner whatever who cares at this point well, i mean i care i guess because i'm still doing a voiceover but come on girl yeah take a sip of your water you dehydrated ass dude i'm on so many depression medications i'm literally like the sponge the, whenever spongebob was in the spongebob movie and he was almost gonna die because they were dehydrating him in the first spongebob movie sorry spoilers if we haven't seen that one that movie is though like 10 years old i think because i saw it when i was like 13 um yes i feel like a dehydrated sponge all the time every single day i should take a sip of water but i'm trying to see what, what she's doing you're still doing your freaking eyeliner oh yeah i think i'm just like darkening it because sometimes whenever you go over your liner too much with the felt tip liner it'll skip and then it'll just remove the product underneath so you can always go in with like black eyeshadow or just another liner Works super well. Again, I've been doing it for years. More recent, more so recently because I feel like every single drugstore brand or over-the-counter brand, whatever. Over-the-counter, it's not medicine. What the fuck? Um, they're just not doing it good anymore. Like, I have a Stila eyeliner as well. I don't know what the fuck is it. It is about new um, makeup or new formulations, but they're kind of ass. I'm not going to lie. They're kind of booty hole. Is she done? Okay, we're going to wait until she puts her um setting spray on and then we're done and then i get to tell you goodbye and then i get to say thanks for watching maybe third sip of water who knows take a sip of water if you're still listening to this at this point there we go the revlon 24 hour lock with superfood and antioxidants whatever again not even going anywhere near my face sunscreen still unblended i have a fan i just don't use it but i'm just getting it set on my face with whatever but yeah that's all that i have for you thanks for watching bye look at my garden shirt bye again